Hey guys, this is the Daily Moogle, and welcome back to Avion, Lord of Twilight. And, uh, once again, I <laughs> fell into the same old rut. I need to apologize because... Yeah, it looks like it's been four days since my last video, and that is totally unacceptable. Um, yeah. That's something I'm gonna be improving for sure. Um, my god, there's just so much stuff going on right now, it's, um... Like I said, the same reason as before. Really, it's just kind of tough at the end of the day to come downstairs and uh, hook up everything and, you know, play around for a while. But, um, you know, it's not a good excuse and it only gets you so far. Like, you can only use it so many times, right? But anyway, enough whining. Nobody wants to hear that crap. So, in this video, what we gotta do next is actually... I'm gonna kill these guys first before I do anything. Just because they're, they're bothering me while I'm trying to read the sign. But we need to start traveling towards Nalith. Which is to the north. And uh, right after this battle, I can pull open the world map again. Because I can't remember if I actually opened the world map in the last video or not. Not sure if I did that particular action. But we can see on the world map roughly where we need to go to get to Nalith. And when I say roughly, I mean extremely roughly. As in, the only thing on our map really is just a little star that tells us um, where it is proximity-wise to like other areas. But anyway, um, items world map. Yeah, that cr that crudely drawn X right there is where we need to need to go. So it's basically north east of Thias, which is kind of where we are now. Um so it's a little bit strange, but to to get started, you actually need to head to the northwest here. And then you're literally just going to follow this path around up here a little bit. And then here it'll tell you that Geladon is to the north. Geladon is basically on the way there. And I believe there was some dialogue among the players that basically told you that. That, you know, you should aim for Geladon and head north for now. And then, you know, I'm assuming eventually we'll get to Nalith, but since that's the ultimate goal. But yeah, immediately we find ourselves in this uh, place called the Ister Forest, which is snowing all of a sudden. There's... <laughs> I thought this was kind of strange that there's not really a transition at all between, like, winter and not winter kind of weather, but there you go. So, Geladon, it says east. But as soon as we step up here, we get a cutscene. Where do we go now? And Mel says west. Definitely west. Actually, why don't we go east? <laughs> Yeah, for someone who hasn't been to Nalith, you sure seem to know a lot. Which, yeah, that's kind of a repeat dialogue of uh, what happened before when we left Thias. Mel was saying we should definitely go south, and then Edward says, no, I think we should go north. But yeah, we can't go this way because apparently we need to learn to ice skate before we can travel across that frozen little pond there. So, I'm sure we'll be coming back to explore that later in the game. But not right now, unfortunately. And uh, here it looks like there's a sort of a fork in the road, but there's nothing up here. Actually, you can see some enemies, though, floating around up there to the left. They don't look very inviting. So, let's go this way. And, uh, yes, we're all of a sudden in another area, which is the Thial Mountains North area. And, actually, you know what? Before I go follow that around, um, if you stand facing the wall right here, this is actually one of those goodie caves. And, yeah, there was a weapons goodie cave, uh, back where we just were that I missed. Um, so, I don't know, I'm not gonna go bother, I'm not gonna bother going back to try and find it, but that was the weapons goodie cave, and then this one is the equipment goodie cave, which has the best, uh, when it says equipment, it means armor, basically. So, you can open a lot of these chests, some of them are locked, 
So I don't know if we'll be able to unlock them later or if they're just there kind of for decoration. But I I'm not going to open them up because I don't want to cheat. <laughs> uh, technically, I could open them up and this I'd have the armor and then I would just never equip it. I could do that too, but it's this is definitely something that'll break your game, so... I, I just figured I would show it off since it's right there along the way anyway. So yeah, we got some new enemies. Uh, this is a harpy. In fact, yeah, let's go ahead and maybe try to put her to sleep. Cool, it actually worked. I think that's the first time sleep actually worked in battle. Because I tried to use it a few times in the last video and it wasn't working. But in any event... Uh, this area that we're in is pretty big, and it's going to take a while to get through, so strap yourself in. Did he say strap in or strap on? Yeah, anyway, um, thanks Herbert the Pervert from Family Guy. Um, and in fact, when I was practicing this area, I had a lot of trouble staying alive. Like, some of the enemies in here... They're not that tough on their own, but like I said, it's such a big area that you have to fight a lot of them. And I just had trouble making it all the way through without, like, just eating into all my healing items and stuff like that. So, yeah, like this Whirlwind ability, it doesn't do a lot of damage, really, but when you get hit with it 20 times, you know, it's kind of a pain in the ass. So to conserve my healing items, what I might do is just backtrack all the way to Thias and rest. And obviously I'm not going to show that, but at least that way I can save myself a lot of uh, having to like restock my healing items later. But on the other hand, we're starting to get some more money from those guys, so that's good. <clears throat> so, there's a lone... Oh, wait a minute. I was about to say there was a lone guy flying around, but all of a sudden we gotta fight three of them. The sleep's been working pretty good so far, so let's keep that up. I'd really like to take out the blue guys first, because they have that whirlwind ability, which is annoying, if anything else. And, uh... Yeah, Stella's attack, like, you can have her attack if you don't want to use sleep. But her attack is so weak that it doesn't do any damage against any of these enemies. And you can see, even Mel's attack is really pitiful. It only does a few damage. So she's really not that helpful either. Which I guess is... You could definitely say makes this area very frustrating, like I was saying, as far as trying to stay alive. Um, my guide is telling me that there's five total chests and five bags of money as well, though. So, uh, for those of you keeping score, <laughs> which sometimes I forget to do. Um, that's kind of how you can know if you've gotten all the treasure or not. Ooh, we got a Snapdragon egg. What the heck does that do? Let's look, shall we? Remove sleep and paralysis states. Well, that's not as useful as it sounds. Oh, okay. That guy was just doing his own thing way down here, and meanwhile his companions were way up here. Alright, I see now. I thought I was getting gypped there by the game. Oop, you know what? You see what I mean about this area? There's so many different options to explore, it's nuts. So here we get a rock slide scroll. That's another new item. Ah, uh, there you are. Rocks fall from the sky on the enemy party. Okay. I will keep that in my back pocket and probably never use it. But I, I guess we'll see. There's another bag. All right. Very nice. And I kind of want to heal up. Let's see... Maybe everybody gets a haunch. How about that? I guess that's good enough for now. I should be able to handle two harpies here pretty easily. Especially if I can get one of them to sleep again. 
Jeez, Mel, come on. And what really sucks is there's really no options to buy better weapons for anybody yet. Like, I'm pretty sure I bought Mel the best dagger in Thias, which isn't really that good, even. And I remember there weren't any swords available for Edward. So, you just gotta kind of rough it out through this area, because when you get to um, Geladon, uh, there's going to be a weapon and armor shop that we can buy some, you know, some improved stuff. But until we get there, this is kind of all we have to work with, so... Here's another chest. We get a Cassia Leaf. Good. I'm probably going to need that. I'll take as many of those as I can get. And it looks like we're going to follow this around here to the left. Oops. Jesus. Alright, a couple harpies. No problem. Alright, guys. I decided to cut out that battle since we've seen those before. And, uh, but look at this. Stella leveled up and she learned Heal heal Miner. I was about to say Heal Mirror there, but that's not right. Not even close, really. Way to go, Brain, for screwing that one up. Um, but that is amazing because, actually, let's see. It takes 25 MP and it says performs Minor Healing on one ally. Very nice. Yeah, when I was practicing, I... I <laughs> I shouldn't even really call it practicing, because I was really just trying to get through the area as quick as possible. Like, I wasn't fighting every single enemy, because if you're just trying to play the game ahead a little bit and see what's coming up, um, you don't really care about fighting every single enemy, you know? You just want to get through it. Um, so when I was quote-unquote practicing, Stella didn't even learn that ability. So th that was a surprise to me just now. <laughs> And I'm actually going to try it out, because it looks like we got a pretty rough battle coming up. Oh, wow. She's out of MP already, though. That's what I get for using sleep so much. But it was actually working, so I kind of... Kind of was drawn in to use it. To using it. Whatever I tried to say there. Alright, that's good enough. Um... <laughs> Crap. I don't have any items that recover MP either, so Stella's like pretty much useless at this point. Because her attack does diddly squat crap nothing. Oh, this is going to be a rough battle. This is going to be painful. Okay, well we got rid of that, that guy at least. No more Whirlwind. Alright, I'm not going to show the rest of this, because we've seen these guys. Alright, folks. Those guys went down. And now we can continue. But look at the scenery here. I love this area. The waterfall, the clouds and stuff, the bridge here. It's all nice. It's all very nice. I like it. And we're not far from Geladon now. We're, we're making pretty good time here, I think. Oh my god, four of them? You gotta be kidding me. Urgh, I don't like the looks of this. But let's go for it. I mean, it's kind of hard to walk around four of them. In fact, yeah, I think I'm gonna cut this one out too, just because... Ooh, nice, critical hit. Anyway, just because, yeah, we've seen it before, and this might take a little while, so I'll see you in a second. Alright. Four corpses to check. And I think we got something from every single one of them right there. Yep, alright, here we are. Like I said, we weren't far. This is the entrance to Geladon. But, um, there's a little bit more we can explore before we actually go ahead and enter the city. And, yeah, Galadon is, like, the city of the dwarves kind of a thing, so it's, you know, obviously it's a city up in the mountains, kind of far away from everything. And, um, yeah, you'll see that it's, like, where all the dwarves live, basically. 
So yeah, if we come all the way around here, we should find some more treasure, I think. Maybe. Sort of. Oh no, this was the dead end. Yeah, you can come all the way down here, but there's nothing to show for it. Kind of makes you feel like there should be something there. But I guess not. Alright, uh, let me see you in a second here. And I'm back. Okay, there's the treasure chest I'm looking for. We find a sleep amulet. Ooh. Is that going to be better than the boots? Protects against sleep. Yeah, see, I lose two defense. I don't know. I'm not going to bother with it. I don't think there's any enemies that can even put us to sleep yet, so what's the point? Rather have the two defense. Alright, so again, before we can enter, we can actually explore a little bit to the right here. I think there is one other treasure over here. And some more blue flying bird things. Getting tired of those guys. A Kovi Balm? What the heck does that do? Sounds kind of... Kind of dirty. Oh, but it's good. It recovers some mana. Cool. That's the first item I think we've seen so far that does that, so... Hopefully we can actually buy some of that in the next town or something like that, but... There we go, some more gold. Um, oops, this way. Alright, let me kill these guys and then I'll see you in a second. Okay, check the corpses. Per the norm. And I think that's it, guys. So we're going to go ahead and enter the city now. And as usual, I kind of lost track of how long I've been recording. So I'm not even sure if I should cut it now or just do a couple of things in the city first. I don't know, man. I'm so bewildered right now. You know what? How about we do this? We'll just go to the inn since it's right here. It's kind of the first thing you see. And uh, there's actually a bag of money that we can grab right on the floor. And then we're going to go ahead and rest up. So you actually pay the innkeeper, and then you can just go and basically go in whatever bed you want. That's kind of neat. But uh, how about that? We'll just leave it at that for now. Um, there's going to be, obviously, like a handful of things that we're going to want to do in the city. And then uh, we'll go from there. So thanks for watching, guys. This is the Daily Moogle. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.